Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. From there, you can remember what happened. We brought, we had this issue of now, we have this issue of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of Mausamba. We have this, this issue of Mausamba. Mausamba did not start this nonsense. Mausamba did not start this nonsense. Yeah, PF. Mausamba did not start that, this nonsense. It's not Mausamba. It's not Mausamba. Why do I say it's not Mausamba? It's not Mao Samba because if it was Mao Samba, Mao Samba would not have had the police, you know, going to the secretariat and locking it up. We had the police locking up the, the PF secretariat. What was that? Even if you are a praise singer, tell me what was that? What was that where we had, you know, the police, you know, uh, condoning the PF uh, uh, secretariat? What was that? Who could Mao Sampa pull that off? He couldn't have pulled that off. He couldn't have pulled that off. But it was because it is Haka in the Ishrema that was behind that. That's why Mao Sampa managed to have a battalion of police officers at the UPND secretary, at the PF secretariat. Then we, we had this nonsense of the convention. Mao Sampa would not have had that opportunity to have that convention at Mulungushi, in the middle of the capital city. He wouldn't have had it. He wouldn't have had it. But it took place at Mulungushi. And we had the police surrounding Mulungushi. We had Mao Sampa protected, being escorted by the police protected by the state police and today you want to tell me no Haka uh, Ishrema is not part of it who can do that in government even in Haka Ishrema's government who can who can manage to pull the police to conduct such an illegal activity who can do that who is the commander in chief who controls the police it is Haka in the Those police would not be there. They would not be there if Haka in the says it, 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 uh, does not agree with it. But because Haka in the is the architect, not even Jack Mwimbo, who is the who is the Home Affairs Minister. In a Jack Mwimbo, I know Jack Mwimbo, you know, he's trying these days, he's trying so hard to fit in. But for Jack Mwimbo, you can't fit in. You can't fit in. Each time you live, Jack Mumbu, even your color changes. Even your color changes, Bamdala. You sweat. Go and see I'm a video by Jack Mumbu. Go and see I'm a video where you are making statements. Bamdala, you sweat. And you become gray. You become gray by Jack Mumbu. Because it's not your nature to lie. It's, your, it's not your nature by Jack Mumbu to lie. But you are trying to fit in. Haka Inde Ishirema has, you know, transmitted mythomania on you. But ile mifuruma ba Jack Mwimbu, ile mifuruma, each time you stand up to talk, you are even sweating, you can, you sweat. You sweat. Nga mwambo kuwe povu ba Jack Mwimbu, it's not your nature. It's not your nature. That's why somehow, Gary Nkombo, I respect Gary Ngombo. Somehow I respect Gary Ngombo. He has got his own weaknesses. We are not perfect, but 
Still, Gary Combo is one of those people that at least Munikoka principle. Munikoka principle because you don't see Jack Mwingu jumping around, jumping around on nonsensical issues. You don't. He is he's trying by all means to reserve some dignity in himself. But Waka in the Chile Mufu Bafia wa Fiamu Mulopa. Ubufi Wabaka in the Chile Mafiamu Mulopa. Wukuruku Fiamu Mulopa. Being bad hearted, F Wabafi or Yamun F Wabaf. Umuntu Tanana Ukumawan to Nama Snacks. I'm a generalist. Who speak out Squamu Club Ama Snacks is sure. Mulan Ruam Timuaka Guaka in the Chile. If we have a few, if we have a few, we just have to accept that we want to nififine, our nififine. But yes, nififine, not to be our leader, not to be our leader, because a leader needs to be soft-hearted, a leader needs to be tolerant, a leader needs to be receptive, a leader needs to be, you know, to be compassionate, need to be sympathetic. So, all of you who want to. Uh, who want to, to deny, to look at the facts as they are. Whatever Mao Samba did, it was not Mao Samba. It was orchestrated by Haka Inde Ichirema. And I put it on Haka Inde Ichirema because nobody else can pull up such a stand in Haka Inde Ichirema's government. And even if somebody did, if you have a leader who is a, a, dem who is a Democrat, if you have a leader who wants to make you want to see that laws are followed, there is no way you would have allowed Mao Samba to go and pull up that stand at Mulongoshi. So they gave him, Mao Samba was, you know, given those powers illegally. Mao Samba was given those powers illegally. The PF tried to go wherever they, they tried to go. They were hitting a, a, a brick wall. Wherever they went, they were hitting a brick wall. They go this side, they hit brick a hit wall. Wherever they went, they, they couldn't do anything. Because the president was behind. They went to the courts. They, uh, they made sure that it was impossible for PF to do anything, to challenge any action of Mao Sam. And today, as we speak, Mao Sampa is the president of who? PF. As we speak, is the president of PF with powers given to him by Haka in the HA. And you want to pretend and, and paint this to say, no, eh, it is, PF is confused. Hey, PF, it's not PF, it's Haka in the HDMA. It's Haka in the HDMA. You did everything with impunity, everything. Powers were given to Mao Samba with impunity. Leader of opposition in parliament was removed with impunity. Chief whip and everything was done with impunity without following the law. And only fools can fail to see this because really there is no any other way I can describe you apart from being a fool. If you cannot see Haka in the giving power to Mao Sampa illegally, if you can't see it, I mean, then you are a fool. Because where a, 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 a party is formed uh, based on the laws, where it must have a constitution, it is a requirement of a political party to have a constitution. It is a requirement of a political party to have some guidelines on how a convention should happen. There is nowhere in the world where a party, a, 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 anyone can stand up and say, let's have a convention. And you even bring in people that are not known. People that are not known, people who are not members of the party. How can you form, how can you have a convention with people who are not members of the party? As you say, it's a convention. And you want to accept that, you want to say, no, uh, 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 this is a PF, whatever, whatever. No, it's not. And where is Mao Sampa getting the powers to have the police, you know, protect him? And where is he getting the funding? Where is he getting the funding? So, that 
is a clear example of President Hakainde Ichidem as dictatorship. Because even if Hakainde Ichidem was not involved, he would have stopped that nonsense. I can't be a leader and seeing such kind of nonsense happening. I can't be. We even have a person from the Registrar of Societies being fired. That woman lost a job for trying to be professional. She lost a job. The Registrar of Societies, she lost a job because of this nonsense. And you want to tell me, no, this is PF affairs, PF affairs. What nonsense? We have other cases. I don't want to miss out the issue of JJ. Look at the issue of JJ if that is not dictatorship. If that is not ruthless dictatorship. JJ, a person is abducted. He comes out, he points at the people that abducted him. He gives a proper account of how he was abducted. How he was tortured. He gives a proper account. Today, where is JJ? Where is JJ today? And Nagwari Mishinda ula imwe wa zombie. Surely you can't see that this is not how a government should run. A person is abducted. And at the end of the day, you have a guy being locked up for aggravated robbery. What nonsense is this, honestly, mwewe na Zambia? Mshiva mchita shani, mumi tomumie, mwava shani. Not all, of course, because I'm also Zambian. Finch va michita, which we know you. Mi pa shincha kwata ka ine ichidema. Mi pa shincha kwata. Udi amuntu. Mi pa shincha kwata ne ipusha. Mi pa shincha kwata imwe. Isha kumi kata kukuwa ongo. Mwaleko kutonton kanya. Mwaleko kumone finto po filo kuba. Mi pa shincha kwata. Evo satanism wui no wakwa tu wa pili wula bantu imitima vale koku tonton kanya vale koku koku mone finto vo filo kuba bamba koku mone finto fivi efi bamba koku la dasha evo satanism wui ne vo satanisti eko ba tu yoka no waya ulepe pa kumanda ulepe pa mumbo kusha a vo satanisti ku chinga mano ya bantu vale koku mone finto efo filo kuba Uwavale, uwavale shoku vo avantu. Uku vo avantu. Ngefo wa filo kuba. Avantu, ava tonton kanya. We are created with intellect. We are rational beings. That's what makes us different. We are rational beings. We are supposed to, you know, interrogate issues. We are supposed to be critical. We are supposed to make sound decisions. But what I'm seeing, especially when I see on social media, don't follow say. I feel sorry for some of you who support clearly wrong things you are supporting. And I'm telling you, the best definition is a zombie. You don't have your brains. Your brains have been taken all away. And you are justifying wrong things. Clearly wrong things. How can you justify what has happened to JJ? How can you justify that? Even if you don't like JJ, even if JJ committed these crimes that they are talking about, even if, why did, he, why did it have to come after his abduction? If JJ committed those crimes that they are talking about, why did it have to come after JJ was abducted? Why did it have to come after JJ became close to Edgar Lungu? When JJ was close to Haka Inde Ishirema, JJ Adinimankangala. Adinimankangala JJ. He was a dignified person. When JJ was, you know, talking to Haka Inde Ishirema, he was a dignified person. But the moment he gravitated, the moment he switched camp to go to Edgar Lungu, he became a criminal. He became a thug. And everybody is there. Everybody can see this. You can see it. JJ was leader of the independent members of parliament. Leader of the independent members of parliament. And he was given respect. JJ was a daddy in Kuliba Neri Muti. JJ was a daddy in Kuliba UPND. JJ was a daddy in Kuliba HHU Wine. 
the moment you switch the camp i am on a tapari fili koku because kuri haka inde chile matapawe fi abako wosu tu wali yako tapawe fi abako efi la walanda tuku peshe lungu kwenda mo ifu tu wali enda mo muli wa haka indele tu wali enda mo nangwa wabe ni wacha vinga wale chivale wale tolaoka wale tolaoka kwa chini koswe na wabe ni tapari hoko wakaya wacha vinga tapari nefo wali wacha vinga tapari nefo wali eh tu wali enda mo he saw there was nothing. He came back. He went to Ed Galungu. The moment he went to Ed Galungu, he ya konga muntu wanikani. Abduction. After abduction, muntu ya kwati. Esa lande, chari shani. Ba making a sure. Opo JJ afu minamu abduction. JJ has never been free. He has never been free. The investigations about the abductions. Tapati neko ya lea. We don't hear anything. Now what we are hearing is JJ being an aggravated robber. And you can't see that there is something wrong here. You can't. You can't see that there is something wrong. You can't see that this guy is a wrong guy. And then again, even there, I will ask you to tell me that you think if Haka in the HLM was not involved, you think things would go the way they have gone? Everything is going on like this because Haka in the HDMI is behind. And I told you right from the start to say Haka in the HDMI is involved in this nonsense. And indeed, when JJ came out, he, he mentioned Avena Levin Goma, the advisors of the president. And they, are, they were very quick to go and report the matter to the police of criminal libel. Very quick. Who does that? Who does that? But they realize that mm -mm, the best way is to make sure he stays behind bars. JJ is inside bars. And very soon, like I told you, some of you can tell that But surely if there is somebody in the country, in Zambia, who has told things and they come to pass, I think I am a, 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 a political guru, prophet, political, political, uh, uh, political prophet. Because what most of the things I've said, you start in Kuliba PF, now PF, now a Rungo Poveke, and now he will take and testify. The things that I've spoken about, they have come to pass. Especially with this government, it is worse. You will see. They will be declaring, they will be declaring um, a, 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 a by election in Petauke. This other guy, we are the accident. What is his name again? Eh? This guy was the accident. They were going to declare that seat. At no, the man is incapable. The man cannot be in parliament. Who yo? Alam parliament. Alam parliament, no. The man is okay. He's sound. But what if Oksa declare a city vacant? Vacant. They wanted to declare a, 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 a seat in Malole. They wanted to declare by election. The dictatorship of Haka in the HM. That's what I'm talking about. I'm giving you, I'm walking through the dictatorship of Haka in the HM. Then let's come back to this issue of Mao Samba. Let's come back to this issue of Mao Samba. Mao Samba Bampera Maka is a president and there was no any other way. There was no any other way. The courts would not, would not help. No one could help in Mao Samba's case. Judges were being called. Judges were being called. I'm sparing some of these judges because they are innocent. But we know judges were being called by Haka in the HDM shouting at them, Who are you? I've given you that position. Eh? Without me, you wouldn't be there. Judges being told of Murikesi Akwama Osa. And you thought they can do anything. There was nothing. There was nothing because... 
I mean, what? The police are on his side. The, 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 the judges are on his side. Everything is on his side. What do you do? What do you do? Mao Samba was a leader. But as always, they don't they are the they are the people fishing cafe or more fear the lafi. I'm not saying whatever, I'm just giving you as it is. And uh, please mouse and excuse me, I don't mean to do to, to you know to speak against you, but I want to lay facts as they are. But like always, Haka in the Ichireba involves people in these uh, machinations. But wakaso, these machinations requires money. These machinations need funding. But Haka in the he will drag you into these shenanigans. He will drag you into these shenanigans, but he will not provide resources. And this is what happened to Mao Sampa. Mao Sampa was drawn into these shenanigans, but he was not given the resources required. Enough resources, because when you are pulling up such a stance, you need enough resources. Only a fool like Chavinga would be jumping around because one pair of 50 pin and he's jumping around. And he thinks he can sustain that. You can't. Chavinga, you can't run away. You can't run with that thing 100 kilometers. You can't. You will go nowhere. You will go nowhere. Mao Sampa tried. Mao Sampa has got huge connections. Big connections, Mao Sampa. But he couldn't sustain it, and I said it. Come on, first year when Mao Sampa pulled this, I said Mao Sampa has gotten this, but I don't think he will sustain it. And indeed, he couldn't sustain it because Akai de the architect behind, was not funding it. That's why you saw Avena Nantane, Mr. Ground, Nantuanikane, coming out. To pay Nindalama, to pay Nindalama, how much were they asking? 50 pin. And look how for Museveni Maus. You think if Maus Sampa had that money, he, would, he wouldn't have given those boys. Maus, eh, Ed, uh, Haka Inde Ichirima gives you a project, but it doesn't give you resources. It doesn't give you resources. We have been there. We have been there. I have been there. It doesn't give resources. He doesn't give resources. Ngabaku peda go kenyaka first yet. Tampa project, you start with that project. Nishapa kwauma. They don't. And that's what happened with Mao Sampa. Mao Sampa could not sustain that. Right now we are talking Mao Sampa has huge legal, uh, legal, legal abuse uh, pertaining to this matter. Lawyers are asking money from Mao Sampa. They have not been paid. I know. I know. I know. They have not been paid. There are huge, huge, huge bills that Mao Sampa has to foot. And Aka Indechirima is not doing anything. You, you are smart. You are getting excited because of the GX. You don't want to give up a GX. That's how they are corrupting your mind. For how long are you going to, to be there? If Mao Sampa, a bigger guy, a giant, has failed, even when you go anywhere, you think those, those legal fees, you'll be able to pay them. You don't even understand what you are signing. When you are going to sign those affidavits, you don't even understand. You don't understand. So when that happened, when Mao Sampa could not sustain this thing, and you know, uh, people were approaching him, Mao Sampa saw reason. He saw reason. He saw reason. He said, "What am I doing to this party? I got it unfairly. I got it illegally. I was given powers by this Aka in the and this Akai Dechirema is not even uh, helping me. So, Mao Sampa gave in. Mevin, uh, and uh, I commend him for that. He made a mistake. Surely he made a mistake. To, to connive with, uh, with Akai Dechirema. 
to pull up this stance. But he turned around. And since he has been given the powers, he started using these powers. He started using these powers to correct the mistakes that he made. That is how you saw Mao Samba appointing a, 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 a disappointing or dropping the Secretary General. Before anything, I want you to follow these things very well. Before anything, before anything, Mao Sampa dropped the Secretary General. He dropped the Secretary General. Mao Sampa knew, if you look at the, those letters, follow them chronologically, you will see that Mao Sampa knew what he was doing. He did things very, very well. He removed the Secretary General. When he moved, when he removed the Secretary General, he appointed, and removing the Secretary General is within the PF uh, powers. Just like he has the powers to appoint, he has the powers to disappoint. So honestly, Imomweva Shindaulwa. Imomweva Shindaulwa, Mwefi Nangwa Fiawandu. Mao Sam, given the powers that he had been given, he's the president of PF, we can't run away from it, he has been given. Mao Sampa has powers, according to PF, has powers to appoint the Secretary General. And he has powers to disappoint the Secretary General. How can that be illegal today that uh, this uh, stupid owner would go to court to contest that? I'm telling you, I just have to call you that. Wunangwa, Mwerishindaulwa, Mulima Zombi, Mukutontonka Nyakwenu, how can such a situation find itself in court? A person who had powers to appoint you and he fires you, how can this be a matter to find itself in court? How? How? How can this person who has been, who was appointed and disappointed have powers you know, to refuse and say, I'm appointing a president to act. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? The PF, the PF constitution gives powers to the president to appoint and disappoint, to dissolve a, a central committee, and even to appoint people subject to ratification to the, at, the, at the convention. Even the central committee, they are actually appointed by... by by, by the president because you give recommendation the president has to agree pf has got the pf president has got so much powers so how can somebody who was appointed refuse to say no 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 you can't you can't fire me and how can a person who was appointed have powers to, to appoint a, 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 a president does that make sense to you does that make sense? Now, you, you, you really want to accept if you are Puma. Does that make sense? The constitution is in black and white. A person was appointed. How can he refuse to say, no, 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 you can't appoint me. You can't disappoint me. And you go to court. And he said, I've expelled you. How? In PF. PF, the president is PF. PF presidency is PF. There is nobody who has got powers above the president in PF. There is nobody. But doesn't want to understand these things. He doesn't. But I'm going to fear. What she do? We were to our commotion. If we watch week, watch me up. I'll change if me up. Watch week any up. I'll. If you are not going to fear, what she do? We commotion. Watch you. We watch week up. He's dead. He's moving around, but he's dead. He is dead. He's not, he, he doesn't even know what he's doing. He doesn't even know what he's doing. He's as good as dead. Chitumbi. 
Voilà, on a dit que tu es un peu plus fort, 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 tu es un un peu plus fort, tu es un peu plus fort, tu es un peu plus fort, tu es un peu Surprisingly, we even now am I injunction now. Hmm? Our courts, I wouldn't be surprised if you start getting funny, funny rulings from the court over this matter. Because it's a kind of HLMA. And judges are scared. They are scared. Judges are delivering according to what a kind of HLMA wants. So I wouldn't be surprised. Otherwise, you won't and the other fool, Chavinga, they, they, they are nothing. They are nincompoops, those. Those are people that we should not even be talking about. But look, instead of us discussing Amalaiti, instead of us discussing Ubunga, Fuel, and other things, we are discussing idiots like Mona. We are discussing idiots, people who have got no value whatsoever. Apart from the fact that God has given them life, they are human beings. We should respect them. Other than that, they are just useless people. But here we are, talking about these idiots. Because Haka in the HLM thrives at this. Haka in the HLM is making idiots, is using these idiots to push an agenda. It's sad. It's really, really sad. And look now, what has happened to the members of parliament? What has happened to the members of parliament, the nine, nine members of parliament? Again, Haka in the I told you before Moyo announced that, just minutes before I told you, my intelligence is very good, actually. Very good. I can assure you that my intelligence is very good. My intelligence. It don't got take a child in a Zambia. You can Zambia. It don't got take a child. You cannot. You cannot dismiss me. You can't. You can't. You just can't. Uh, yes, I'm just me. Ninja Kalafinofi and Namuka Pitula. But hey, I'm not a guy that you can dismiss. I'm not a guy that you can dismiss. By the very fact that, you know, by the very fact that I have some of these big people resorting to Chirifatayali, it is something that we should, that we should not uh, underrate. Don't underrate it. Don't underrate it. These members of parliament, nine members of parliament, on this one I'm sparing Vaneri Muti. I'm sparing Vaneri Mutu because Vaneri Mutu was reluctant. Vaneri Mutu was reluctant. She was reluctant. And some of you may not have followed the events of how these things unfolded. On Thursday, on Thursday, eh? on Thursday, that is when that uh, uh, ruling, but maybe let me go back. Let me go back so that I, I, I give you a, a, a good understanding of this. Because this is the main issue that I want to deliver tonight. So let me, give, let me go a little bit back. When Mao Sampa took over PF, when Mao Sampa took over PF, of course, these members of parliament, they didn't uh, approve him. Because surely he got the powers he did get. They didn't approve him. And working with Haka in the HDMI, they wanted, you know, to get rid of the members of parliament. The issue with Mao Sampa, the whole plan was that Mao Sampa takes over PF. Follow me very well. The whole agenda about Mao Sampa, if you have to understand, the whole agenda for Mao Sampa was um, to achieve a number of objectives. Number one, it was to make sure that 
Ed Galungu does not continue uh, being leader of PF. That is number one. Number one agenda was to make sure that Ed Galungu is not anywhere uh, PF. To make sure that uh, Ed Galungu doesn't have an opportunity to contest an election. Okay? Which mission is still there? It has now gone to the uh, it has now gone to the to the corn court. The corn court you will see on the eighth, they will rule to say no, the case is continuing. Okay. They have been instructed. They have been instructed. Judges have been put under pressure to make sure that they continue with that case to say no, we can hear this matter. Let's hear it. Uh, because he blah 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 whatever nonsense they are ruling like that on the eighth okay try to bar ed galungu but anyway pf they wouldn't want ed galungu to be anywhere here anywhere near it especially when some of us are gravitated uh, um, agitated for ed galungu coming back so they wanted to make sure that he, ed galungu is out of the picture number two they wanted to make sure that he, they remove some of the members of parliament who are PF. Some of the members of parliament, especially those vocal ones, Avena Mundubide, Avena Kampiongo, Avena Mutoto Kafuaya, Avena Christopher Kangombe, those who, by our cutting away in parliament, in parliament, shakes, they wanted to get rid of those. And they ultimate mode, uh, intention was to make sure that uh, UPND has the majority uh, in parliament. They have the two-third threshold. UPND is struggling with two-third threshold. They want to have the two-third threshold so that they can go and change the constitution. They want to change the constitution. And some of the things that they want to change, which Haka in the HDM wants to change, because it's not everybody, it's Haka in the HDM. So some of the things that Haka in the HDM are using Nantuan Kano, Uyu, Uyu, Mulambo Ahimbe. Some of the things that they want to change in the constitution is to remove, they don't want the running mate issue. They have had a bad experience with Mutare Narumango. They it hasn't been a good relationship there. It hasn't been. It hasn't been. And of course, they also don't want the issue of, you know, 50% uh, plus one. So they want to remove the issue of running mate. They want to remove the 50% plus one. Haka in the issue, the man knows that he doesn't have it good in terms of elections politically. He knows he doesn't have it. So, in, he is scared of losing elections, you know, in the first round. He, he knows it. So, to at least advance the chances, they want to remove the 50% plus one. So that at least they can just pour in, you know, Ama Votsi, Vavika Mama Votsi, Firawati, Trek, Southern Province, Naku Western Province. Vavika Mama Votsi, he just gets a slight over, you know, the other one. And that's it. Okay? So they want to get rid of the 50% plus one because as it is, it is very challenging. It is very challenging. Then, um, the, 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 the other issue that they want to deal with is the issue of uh, uh, delimitation. Eh? Delimitation, dividing the whatever, whatever. They want to deal with, with that one as well so that they have more members of, of parliament. But critically, the two big issues... Oh, the, 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 the three actually. The other one is to change the tenure from five years to seven years. Haka in the HTML wants to change that from five years to seven years. The other one, of course, is the two is a two term. Okay? They want to do what happened in 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 in, in Rwanda, you know, where uh, when the time came for Kagame to, to go, they 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 simply changed the constitution to say no. He can, he, can, he can continue, like even in, also in, in Uganda. So these are the things that they want. Let me run you through. Number one, they don't want the, the, the running mate issue. Number two, 
they want to remove the 50% plus one. Number three, they uh, want to change the tenure of the president to seven years. Number four, they don't want the limit of two-term limit. They want to extend that so that Aka in HDMI can be there for one year. And to do these things, they also have to tinker around with the delimitations, such that they consolidate, they, they divide, you know, the constituencies. We have more constituencies in this region where they have more people. Okay? And that way, then Aka in the will be one year. So they want to touch on these issues in the constitution. And these things, these things are real. But they have this problem now. How do we bring this to parliament? You have seen that Haka uh, uh, Inde they have prone to change the laws. You even hear Haka Inde when he's standing up, you hear him to say, we have changed the laws. We are changing the laws. When he, when he just came, remember he was saying that, I mean, we have here, we have a law. Hey, we have a law which is blocking us. We can't do this. Hey, procurement, you have a law which is procurement. And they have been changing the laws. Those laws which can pass uh, with a simple majority, which does not need, which does not need the two-third majority, they have actually changed them. This is why we even have now, you know, Cattle theft, eh? stock theft. We have stock theft. It is now unbearable. Because it is, it, it, it is presidential. It is treason. You know? Stock theft has become <laughs> next to treason. Why? Simply because the president has cows. So you steal a cow. You go in, there is no bell. And you can imagine stock theft is as common as, I don't know, as, as picky pocketing. In, especially when you talk about this region. It is as common as uh, pick pocketing. But you know, it is now uh, non bearable We also have now this issue that they are using at Ishan, hate speech. Eh? hate speech, they, they are also changing the laws there. So wherever they have seen that there is an impediment in the law, they have changed those laws which do not require the majority vote. But for these big ones, like the running mate, it requires a majority vote. The 50% plus one, it requires a, ma a majority vote. A change of the term of the president, it requires a majority vote. A, a, a term, you know, term limit it requires a majority vote. So these ones, they have not been able to present them in parliament because they know they cannot be able to change because of the PF. So the agenda to mess around with PF, this is why you are even hearing Vachavinga saying that from tomorrow, eh? If you do what, 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 you will go. If you do what, 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 you will go. If you do what, you will go. Because they want to get rid of them. They want to get that threshold of two-third majority. And that is how the nine members of parliament were, 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 uh, um, were, were, um, the nine members of parliament were expelled by Mao Samba. It was part of the agenda. It was part of the agenda. So when they were expelled, when they were expelled, what did they do? They went to court. Of course, there is no any other way. They went to court to challenge that. And on Thursday, they got a ruling. When they went to court, what they played for, what they challenged in court, they challenged number one. They said, Mao Sampa doesn't have powers to who? expel us. That's what they said. Mao Sampa doesn't have powers to expel us because Mao, pa Mao Sampa's uh, powers that he has, the powers that he is wielding, are illegal. Mao Sampa is a fraud. That's what they said in court. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a fraud. 
And then number two, this is against our constitution. Article 60, Article 60 requires political parties to be holding conventions in terms of how they should choose their leaders. That is what Article 60 says. It emphasizes that our, the, uh, the, the, the political parties must follow their own constitution. And those constitutions must be in line with democracy, democratic tenets. So they challenged this. Number one, Mao Sampa, they said, no, Mao Sampa is illegal, which all of us, we agree. That convention was illegal. Number two, they said it contravenes the constitution. And when they came to rule, the judges, when they ruled, on Thursday, on Thursday, the judges ruled. What did they rule? They said, no, these are internal matters. There is no issue of constitution that we need to to look at because the constitution is already very clear as you have quoted it so if the constitution is very clear yeah like you have quoted it i mean it is up to you to to resolve this just go and follow the constitution go and sit together they basically judges because you know they are in a difficult situation eh? they couldn't declare <laughs> those seats vacant they couldn't. The judges did not declare the seats vacant. They did it. They simply told the parties, both parties, to say, ah, uh -uh, you guys, I mean, these are internal matters. Eh? And you know the constitution, what the constitution said. So just sit and discuss these things. That is what the court said on Thursday, last week, on Thursday. Why you for judgment here? They didn't say, Mao Sampa is right to fire you. You people should be fired. No, they didn't say that. They didn't say that. They didn't say, Mao Sampa is right. You are expelled. No, they didn't. They didn't. Neither did they say, Mao Sampa is wrong to expel you. They didn't. Why? Because, I mean, they can't touch Mao. Mao is a project of the president. So they just told them, guys, just go and talk. Go and talk. You know what the constitution says. Go. Go and talk. But meanwhile, like I told you earlier, the discussions were, have been going on way before. Way before. People have been engaging Mao Sampa, you know, including church leaders. A number of people have been engaging Mao Sampa on this issue. So even as they were ruling on Thursday, uh, and even the arguments, they were not strong on both sides. Even the arguments and whatever, there was no battle. The battle stopped because these people were talking. And that is how, that is how now they, uh, um, after the, 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 they continued with that negotiation. But these people knew that Kuli Mingarato, But these people knew, the PF knew, and we knew, even me, I knew, that Kuri Mingalato, they knew that the moment the case is thrown out, uh, they will declare vacancy. One of what? They knew these things. Even me, I knew. We knew. Let me say we knew that the, uh, the dismissing of the case on Thursday was going to trigger Parliament to say vacant, even if the judgment did not say yes, Mao Sampa was right. The judgment did not say Mao Sampa was right. No, they didn't. It didn't. So they on in the morning on Thursday, in the morning on Thursday, a ruling was passed around 9 30, 10 hours. Eh? A ruling was passed. Guys, go and talk. That is what the Crown Court said. Eh? In the afternoon, the members of parliament, Kangombe and eight others, meaning the nine members of parliament, they went and filed another action. They went and filed another action. And the action that they filed is they were saying, can the court interpret to us if what Mao Sampa did was constitutional or not constitutional. 
You understand? Here they are, they are the, the nine members of parliament were fired because Mao Samba had these powers, you know, which have been given to uh, illegally. So the eight, they go to court in the afternoon to challenge, to challenge uh, the process that was done by Mao Samba. To say, was it legal? Did it satisfy Article 60? Did it satisfy? So, in other words, they, they still, there is still a contention, there is still a court action on the eight, nine members of parliament. Therefore, it is not true when Moyo is saying there is no case in court. It is not true. It is not true. Get it from me. It is not true. Even Mwetwa, when he was rising on a point of order, he was rising on the point of order because there was a plan already that immediately they throw it out, we should raise a, a point of order so that these people can, can go. But the PF Bali Shive, whoever immediately right to throw in, there will be somebody that will be agitating for the seats to be nullified. So a ruling is done in the morning, in the afternoon, in the afternoon on Thursday itself, another court action is started. And the documents, the documents from court were saved on parliament to notify parliament to say we are still in court. Yes, this one has been thrown out, but we are still in court. We are still in court. Parliament was told. They received those documents. But on Friday, Mule Konka, on Friday, eh, eh, Muetwa rise up on a point of order. He rise up on a point of order to say the members of parliament were expelled. They are not supposed to be in parliament. Because the court action has been thrown out. But this was a plan which they had before. Without considering the fact that PF uh, MPs, they had actually filed another action in the court. So when Muetwa is rising on a point of order to say there is no, there is no court order or there is no court action, it is not true because in the afternoon a, a, an action was commenced and the parliament was informed so when Mwetwa is standing up with, on that point of order there was an action in court which means that those members of parliament are supposed to be in parliament because as long as there is a court action those members of parliament are supposed to be in parliament that is the law. That is not what I'm thinking. No, that's a law. But Muetwa raises that point of order around 11 hours. And remember, it's Friday. Parliament stops sitting at 13 hours. Okay? So, Parliament closes at 13 hours. It is a Friday. We are going into Saturday. Eh? It's a weekend. And it was a long weekend. So, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it's a holiday. Tuesday was a holiday. Okay? Tuesday was a holiday. When does Parliament resume? Wednesday. So, in other words, we have two concurrent, two, uh, two business concurrent days. I don't know, two concurrent business days. Two concurrent business days. Because it was on Friday. And the next sitting is on Wednesday. These, these days in between, they are holidays. We cannot count them. So on Wednesday, when Parliament resumes, when Parliament resumes, we have a ruling. So just on Friday, on the next day, if you like, it is like a Monday, uh, there is a point of order. The following day, Tuesday, there is a ruling. 
Now, in Parliament, if you look at it, the, the way Parliament operates, or the way our Parliament operates most of the times, you find that even like a, small, a small issue, you find that, uh, you know, the ruling takes a bit of time. We have a number of rulings which have not been uh, <laughs> ruled, ruled upon, eh? which were there before. But this one, it is like it happened on Monday and the next day it happens because it, it happened on Friday. Point of order was raised on Friday. And the next day, the next business day was Wednesday. And on Wednesday, the ruling was done. Now, here is something that is very important that you need to, to, to consider. Parliament does not operate without laws. Parliament, op Parliament operates within the laws. It operates within the laws. There are laws on how Parliament should conduct itself. And Maneli Muti, she's one of those people that is so mm -hmm. fond of, you know, censuring members of Parliament, counseling members of Parliament on following the, the laws uh, of Parliament. So, what does them, wh wh which laws are these? The laws that governs Parliament are called the standing orders. So Parliament does not operate in a vacuum. It does not operate without at the whims of the of the of the speaker. No, it operates following the standing orders. And those of you who want to read, uh, I will try to post this article maybe tomorrow. Article fifty-seven of the standing orders. Article fifty-seven of the standing orders. It prescribes what should be debated on that particular day, or what should come to the floor of the house. When you look at the way the speaker starts, he starts with prayer, that repeated monotonous prayer. It starts with that, it goes into the parliament, it, it goes into the national anthem, the national anthem, it goes to, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the vice president. Everything is in order. Everything is choreographed. And the, all this is in the standing orders. And what comes in parliament must be on the order paper. Parliament does not just debate anything anyhow. No. It must be on the order paper as part of the business day. It must be on the order paper. It must be on the order paper. You cannot just say, yo, pantumunduna foko, shana shana shana. Even if a president dies, you know, on Cairo Road, parliament is going on. Eh? Parliament, the president is driving eh? from, from, from whatever. He faces an accident, he dies. You will not just bring it just like that. No. 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 It has to be on the order paper. Otherwise, if it is not on the order paper, it was not discussed. It is considered as an issue that did not arise. Mountful. If it is not on the order paper, according to Parliament rules, it means that item didn't come up. So, on Wednesday, on the order paper, that ruling was not there. That ruling, when you see the speaker standing up to stay, a ruling, it is on the order paper, it is put on the order paper. On the order paper, they will, it will be there to say there will be a ruling. But that ruling was not on the order paper. Why it was not on the order paper? Because Vanelli Mut was reluctant. She was reluctant for, to go in that direction. Moetwa, yes, made, a, made a, a point of order. Then her kind of HDM started pushing Vanelli Mut now that she should make a ruling on, it, on, uh, on, on, on Wednesday. But then Vanelli Mut says, but okay. Your Excellency, I'm not even in the country. I am in Angola now. This is now Power Wednesday. Power Wednesday. Because Power Wednesday Africa, Parliament here Tampa, it is not on the order paper. So how can the HDM get upset? How come this ruling is not on the order paper? Phones Neri Muti now. 
and start shouting at Neri Muti. Iwe, why this thing is not on the order paper? But Neri Muti, ah, no, sorry, sir. I'm in Angola. That's why it's a But just, it's not really that. But Neri Muti was, you know, uncomfortable. But how can they hear my shouts? Parliament has started. It's not on the order paper. They are discussing. They are talking there. Why is this not on the order paper? That's how Vanelli Mut gave up and phoned Moyo. Phoned Moyo. Moyo, when you come, you need to give this ruling. And phoned the secretaries. Can you start typing? Gave them instructions on what to type for Moyo to read. And they started typing now in panic. So that he, Moyo can rule it. That is how you saw the ruling. If you know, the ruling, I mean, ordinarily, most of the times they come just before parliament starts, normally. But that ruling came after tea, tea break, here past 16 hours. That's when it came. Because Haka and the HLM had pushed that it should be on the order paper, the ruling must be passed. Banari Mutu was not there. She's in, she was in Angola. And she succumbed. She had to phone, and the people had to work quickly to type that statement. That's how you saw even Moyo is struggling to read because he didn't even have time to go through it. He was reading it for the first time in Parliament. He didn't have time. Immediately, about Pushefe, Bamupera, read. And they read it. But it was not on the order paper. This is where I'm saying it is illegal. According to parliamentary rules, according to standing order uh, uh, article um, 56, 57, it is illegal. Because article 57 of the standing order, it says that everything that should come on the floor of the house should be, should be, should be on the standing orders. And if there are amendments, they are possible because the standing orders, who makes the standing orders? It's the management, the people that run this parliament. They are the ones that make the standing orders, of course, in consultation with the speaker and the clerk of National Assembly. So sometimes, yes, they can make, a, a, an, they can make an amendment, meaning they have produced a standing order and then they realize one item has to come in. It has to be two hours before the, the, the house starts. There can be an amendment on the standing order. But these amendments must be done two hours before Parliament resumes city. Before business starts. Not Nayamba, uh, uh, before business starts. Two hours. And why is it like that? It is like that so that they can circulate it among members of Parliament. Members of Parliament must know what they are going to discuss before they go to Parliament. That is why the standing orders are important. It is like the agenda. You don't go for a meeting without an agenda. That is a very important meeting. So uh, the agenda of parliament is called, is basically the, uh, uh, the order paper. So on the order paper, and this order paper must, be, must not be changed within two hours. After two hours, it can come the, the next day. But because Mahaka in the Ichirema, dictatorship now, abuse of power, prevailed, this Vanelli Mutu will never tell you, but me, I'm telling you. She will never tell you. But I'm telling you that Vanelli Mutu, the, on this one, Vanelli Mutu, I, I usually, you know, you know, talk about her and whatever, whatever. But me, in a, in Konka, in Fida Vananda, Jumumburu, Umumburu, Bakunko, Udi, you know, in a, I follow, I mean, if you have done something wrong, I will talk about you to say I will admonish you that you did something wrong. But if you didn't do something wrong, I mean, it doesn't matter. You may be, you may not be my favorite, but I will not apportion fault on somebody that has not done something wrong because that is not justice. I'm an advocate of justice. And in, in the interest of justice, I want to tell you that this one, Vanelli Mutu resisted it. This is why it was not on the order paper. But when Haka Indeichirema realized it's not on the order paper, he became upset 
and he descended on Vaneli Muti, forced Vaneli Muti to uh, issue instructions. And the instructions were carried. And in reading that, because you know why they are saying what they say that there is no matter in court, because the 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 the, 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 the clerk of National Assembly and the management they knew that there is a court action which was filed on Thursday afternoon. They had received those documents. So when Vanelli Mut was saying whatever whatever, they said, "But Madam, we have." received documents that this matter is in court. But then he just said, put it there that you, 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 it, there is no court action. Just put it there. And that's how you saw it coming in there to say, since there is no court action, they were trying to cover up. They had already received the court documents. But they were covering it up like they don't know. And yet they had received. And you know, these things I'm talking, they are stamps. When they received you, uh, when they received the stamp, you will see the dates of that. So it was there; they had, they, they knew about it, but they, they ignored it. Not that they don't know, they don't know, and they put it there, and they declare those it's vacant. It is not Vanelli Muti; it is Haka in the Ichidem. It is Haka in the Ichidem who pushed, and everybody at Parliament very shive. There is a court order. They knew. That's why they didn't make it. They didn't put it on the on the order paper. And they know that the order paper cannot be changed during the course of business of parliament. They know. It has to be changed. If it has to be amended, it has to be amended two hours before. So after Moyo uh, Averenga, it is not on the order paper. After Moyo Averenga, they circulated the amended order paper at 18 hours. Nishna Verengaka. Look at that. Eh? The order paper must be prepared before parliament. And if they have to be amended, they have to be two hours before parliament sits. But what happened yesterday is that an item was introduced and it was not on the order paper. But then they realized to say, ah, it must be on the order paper. So they amended the order paper after the ruling has already been done. That's why I'm saying it was an illegal item. It was an illegal item because it was not on the order paper when Parliament started. It only came in after it was already delivered. It came at 18 hours. But Baka in the doesn't know these things. He doesn't. He doesn't. For him, it was just a matter of, no, declare those seats vacant. Declare them vacant. But Vanelli Mood knew these things. That's why she was reluctant. Management, the town, the clerk of National Assembly, they knew these things. But they are dealing with a dictator. In a statement, that me ever idea, perfectly. Because of attack in the HDMI, will cause chaos. Because of his dictatorial tendencies, not following the law. Dictatorship is not following the law, it's following what you want. That is dictatorship. These people wanted to follow the law, but Akainde Ichilema didn't want, and he prevailed over them. And they carried out that nonsense. So, to put it in perspective, it is not true that there is no court action. It is not true. There is a court action. There is a court action. Those members of parliament, the eight members of parliament, are in court with Mao Samba. Christopher Kangombe and eight others, they are in court. Then, that declaration of uh, that, that item of making that ruling was not on the order paper. Therefore, it is illegal. The third point that you need to take is the ruling which was done in uh, uh, Branimund versus uh, Moyo, where it was very clear where the court, you know, remember, <laughs> the court, they were acting kadarism, uh, kadaristic, eh? 
When Ibran Mundubile complained about being removed as the leader of opposition and whatever, 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 they, they said, no, uh, the uh, speaker has no, uh, no, 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 this one is on the, this one is on the, this one is on the, is, is on the leader of opposition. No, the case that I need to cite is the, is the, is the, is the, is the, is the um, uh, Chimba Kambwiri against the speaker, you know? You remember Chimba Kambwiri against the speaker? When Matibini was the speaker, the court ruled that the speaker had no powers to declare a seat vacant. The, speak, the, the court ruled. The court ruled. They ruled against Matibini. So in this case, in this case, how can the speaker come up when they, we already have a precedent? We already have a precedent. And Baneri Muti has actually, Baneri Muti has also made the ruling. She made the ruling, Baneri Muti, on, on Mao Sampa himself. Because remember, Mao Sampa was expelled. And a point of order, a similar point of order, which was raised by, by Mwetwa, was raised against Mao Sampa. And Baneri Muti ruled to say, no, according to the judgment of Shimbakambuidi versus a, a, the Attorney General who was representing the Speaker, I don't have such powers. That's what Baneri Muti said. But on this one here, Kwa Mwetwa, and nine members of parliament involved, they make a ruling. They declare the seats vacant. I will talk about the leader of opposition uh, uh, maybe tomorrow because I know this might be a little bit too much. So, but the, the point is that it is not true that there was, there was no court, court action. There was a court action. And Parliament was aware. And this is why they couldn't put it on the order paper. Because they knew. But because Haka Inde Ichirema pushed his way, they were forced to bring this item, which was not on the order paper, make a, an illegal ruling, and thereafter make an amendment on the order paper and circulate it at 18 hours. All these things, my brothers and sisters, this is anarchy. This is anarchy. This is dictatorship. And when these kind of things are happening, at the end of the day, people will react. And when people react, you start arresting them. You start saying they are the problem. When people like me talk like the way I've spoken, if I were in the country, you would have been looking for me to do the worst on me. But who is wrong? Me who is talking or you who are doing things that are illegal? This is a problem that we have. And it's a danger for our country because these things are inhibiting in people. They are building up in people. And one day, we might have a problem. We might have a problem. And who would have caused that problem? Would it be the people that are reacting? It is the person that is acting illegally. Even this issue of regionalism that you are talking about, you are now making, you want to make laws diff, uh, uh, stiffer when you talk about tribalism. This tribalism, people are reacting to the tribalism of Aka in the But you want to label people, you want to label Nawakui, you want to label uh, Dan Pule, uh, you want to label uh, Munia Zulu, you want to label uh, uh, Maureen Mabonga. These people are reacting to the tribalism, the regionalism that Haka in the is perpetuating. And when they react, you now say this, 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 this. But the problem is this man. The problem is Haka in the That is the problem. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.